good morning everybody welcome back again i hope you guys keep safe um, let's open our book and start the lesson for today we are on unit 10 d culture corner and today we're talking a little bit about summer festivals um, in your book on page 105 i want to turn your attention to the three pictures that you can um, observe we have three pictures one being of a child and it seems like a nice vacation all right so these pictures relate to uh, festivals and i know that you guys are familiar with some of the festivals um, in vietnam but more specifically some of the summer festivals that you guys can enjoy over the holidays all right so we see these kids and at the background almost like a balloon and then we have people in a conference room as well as someone on a speedboat as well and this looks like a very fun activity as well right going back if we start off on our culture corner number one think of new year's eve and how do you celebrate it what do you do do you think it's the same in wellington new zealand and already by now i can um, tell you guys that the topic will be about some festival that will be taking place in Wellington, New Zealand, but I'm going to open it up. In Wellington, New Zealand, right. um, New Year's Eve Wellington, is the first day of a three-month long festival called Meridian Energy Summer City. three-month long festival called Meridian Energy Summer City. Right now, this seems like a very nice holiday and it spans over three months. Um, I don't know which three months yet. I don't want to um, spoil the fun and go into the lesson yet. I just want to say that three months is a kind of a long time to have a summer vacation. However, let's go into the reading and see what the passage is all about. Then we can have an idea of what we are working towards. All right, I'll play the audio clip for us to listen to and then we can take it from there. Meridian Energy Summer City. Imagine celebrating the arrival of summer on New Year's Eve and having plenty of sunshine with high temperatures. That's what happens in Wellington, New Zealand, where summertime lasts from December until February. It's also when one of the most outstanding events of the year begins, Meridian Energy Summer City. This fun three-month festival, December 31st to mid-March, offers free concerts and events for all ages and tastes. Top local musicians and dancers give exciting performances. There is also plenty of thrilling sporting action with mountain biking, skateboarding, and powerboat racing. For younger visitors, there are outdoor circus shows and storytelling hours in the beautiful botanic gardens. There are also opportunities for everyone to see movies, theater performances, and parades. Meridian Energy Summer City is not just a festival of great summer fun. It is a cultural experience as well. Many of Wellington's traditional restaurants provide delicious food, and local shops sell arts and crafts produced by local people. And that's the end of our audio clip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a little bit of a background of what's happening in the passage at hand. Um, we have the Meridian Energy Summer Summit um, City that's happening in Wellington in New Zealand, spanning from over December up until February. But as the text tells us, it spanned from December right up until the mid of March. So there's a lot of fun activities for us to do should you ever land up in New Zealand one day um, and
and you guys can enjoy some of those activities. They have free concerts, events and everything to do for the little ones as well for older um, individuals as well. Ranging from musicians and dancers and local performances as well as storytelling in the beautiful botanic gardens. So there's a range of things that you can do and usually that's the whole idea of festivals is for you, for you to enjoy yourself and sometimes these festivals also have a purpose and um, attached to it. Sometimes it's to raise uh, money for charities, sometimes these festivals are held uh, for a good cause or, you, or as I can say a worthy cause. So that is our reading passage, so let's go on to page to the next page and you can just follow in your book. Right, now we have some questions that we can ask, um, read again and answer the following questions. When is summer in Wellington? Now you guys, I would really like it if you can answer this beforehand and not just look at the passage um, um, and not just look at the answers while I display it. Um, and be a little bit more proactive if I can put it to you that way. So when is summer in Wellington? Alright, from December up until February. But as you can see, the three-month festival can be um, spans up until the mid-March mid as well. Alright, so how do new, new Zealanders celebrate Meridian Energy Summer City? While well, they go to free concerts, play thrilling sports, or go to outdoor events like circus, as we all can see in the text. Now, some of these words are a little bit too high, or some of these words you might not understand, so I will explain it at the later stage. Alright, so I'm just going through the questions for now to give us a little bit of an idea of what to expect. So, how long does this festival last? This festival lasts for three months only right in December up to mid March all right and we can move on to the next slide and explain the words and phrases in bold all right now the words in bold range from arrival to sunshine right up until arts and crafts at the end okay I don't think I need to explain to you guys what arrival means um, simply meaning that if you were to go to, let's say, Hanoi, for example, you get on a plane, you depart from here, and then you arrive. So you guys are quite familiar of what arrival means, as well as sunshine, because in Ho Chi Minh City we have a lot of sunshine. Uh, except if it's not the rainy season, then you won't have any sunshine at all. Um, luckily for us, we experiencing a lot of sunshine at the moment with high temperatures sounds almost similar like the temperature in Ho Chi Minh City at the moment all right it is also when one of the most outstanding events of the year begin all right now let me explain outstanding it's a very nice event and everyone is looking forward to it so that's what outstanding means for those who do not understand and I know that most of you understand um, the meaning behind outstanding right so it's a very nice event and everyone looks forward all right offers free concerts the word offer I don't think I need to explain to you in simple terms when someone gives you something um, it's almost like an offering they give it to you in this case of the festival whatever they um, produce and make and whatever they give that is what we call offer right so they offer free concert and events and fun activities for everyone all right and the last word that we're looking for is for all ages and tastes now what this word means is different people have different tastes in different things some of you might not like the festival music but you enjoy the arts and crafts or you enjoy um, the only the dancing part um, these are just the different tastes that people have or their preferences if I can put it to you that way all right top local musicians and dancers these are one of the famous musicians and dancers performing in the country so when we talk about top next word we're looking at is thrilling if we talk about thrilling sport action these are sporting events that gives you a little bit of a spike um, raising some of you uh, of your blood pleasure if I can put you that way these are sporting events that 
really um, keeps you on the edge of your seat. Okay, so there's plenty of thrilling sporting action, meaning it's exciting and worthwhile doing while you are at the festival. Right, there are outdoor circus shows, I don't need to explain this, as well as opportunities. What I am going to explain to you are parades, what are parades, as the text suggests everyone to see movies, theater performances and parades. You guys are familiar with movies, you go to CGV, you're familiar with theater performances and these are live performances where you can sit and watch people act live on stage. Right, and then parades. You guys are also familiar with parades because I've seen some of them in Ho Chi Minh City, um, but not a lot. So a parade is where they close off the street and then they have people walk down the street and have performances. Those are your parades. Usually they have a car with lots of um, characters and performing in the street, but the whole street is blocked off so that they can move freely through it. Right? Um, it is a cultural experience as well, meaning that you can experience something from your own culture. It's something different. All right? And local shops sell arts and crafts. Now, you guys who are not familiar with arts and crafts, these are things that you can make with your hands. For example, if you have different items like plastics and cardboard and all of these things, you can make something useful and make um, lots of characters you or you can make uh, like a painting or whatever now that is what we call arts and crafts things that you can make out of the nitty gritties for example i have the water bottle and some pens so i can do some activity with it and make it look like something really special and nice all right these are the words in bold so i do not need to explain um, opportunities in outdoor because i believe that you guys know what that means Alright, um, moving on to our next page for number three. Right, now we're talking about word formation. Okay, so read the theory, complete the sentences with a word derived from the words in parentheses. And when we talk about parentheses, these are the words in parentheses. Alright, so for example, check in your dictionary. So we're talking today about prefixes. All right, there are syllables added before a certain, a certain words to form new words. For example, we have the word operate. Okay, now most of you guys may not be familiar with the word operate, and it simply means that if you have a machine, you operate the machine. Um, if you have a printer, you can operate the printer. It means how you use. All right, so operate has the same uh, meaning as use. So we use co with operate, the word in parenthesis to form the word cooperate. All right, and as you can see here, the list goes on. Um, cooperate to do it with. We have the word use. Now we use the prefix miss. Miss is um, the prefix that we use before use, um, and it simply means to do something the wrong way. All right, the next word we look into is do and the prefix that we will use is out do and it simply means to do more than what you um, are expected to do right and the next word that we're looking at is big uh, hero and the prefix that we will use there is um, super to give it more meaning and say superhero all right which means it is a big thing Right, looking at some of the sentences that you guys have in front of you, I would love you to do it before I do it so that you guys can have practice. Um, and you can pause the video and fill it in beforehand like I know most of you will do. Um, and I really encourage the others to do this as well. Alright, the words in parentheses we have understand, market, workers and stand. So these are the four words that we need to put prefixes. Okay, remember we talk, we're still talking about prefixes. So these are the four words that we need. All right, so the sentence, I think you've mm, what he said, so understand. So which of these four prefixes are we going to use? Are we going to say co-understand, misunderstand, out-understand, or super-understand? All right, and the correct word to use here is misunderstand. 
all right when you explain something or you tell someone something and they don't understand the full meaning behind what you are saying all right so i think you've misunderstood what he said and also very important is to put it in the correct tense all right i think you've misunderstood what he said and said being in the past tense all right that's why the word changes because it's in the past tense all right john has gone to the so which means this is something that still um, that already happened all right it's in the past has gone so john has gone to the what okay so we can say supermarket for this one all right which is a bigger market than your normal market all right moving on he's mm, don't like him all right also talking about something that happened in the past all right because this is an event um, that's taking place that already take took place in the past so we say he's mm, workers and which prefix are we going to use in this instance and we can say his co-workers don't like him take notice um, of how we spell co-workers as we move on to the next phase all right wellington is a place of mm, and here we have the word in parenthesis which is stand and the prefix that we will use for this one now if you notice that we have already used three of these words and there's only one more that we need to use so we can say willing is a place of now be careful of how you use the prefix all right because if you can see that the prefix that we use is out but then we also add a suffix to the word as well so we add a prefix and a suffix give it more um, meaning and the word is outstanding all right moving on to our next phase and move on to number four so the question now is which sports are mentioned in the text okay and say three things that you can do during the festival all right so first of all which sports are mentioned in the text if we look right in at the bottom of the text we can see that there's dancers uh, thrilling sport action with mountain biking that's one of the sports skateboarding and powerboat racing if you guys are not familiar with powerboat racing this is it right over here okay this little thingy is powerboat racing and skateboarding um i think you guys are familiar with ice skating because we have ice skating here in ho chi Minh, um indoor ice skating but this uh, skateboarding event takes place outside and we usually have something like a cardboard type of a thing with four wheels if you guys not understand the meaning behind skateboarding and you can google it as well all right biking you guys are familiar with it all right so these are the sports mentioned in the text all right so say three things you can do at the festival number one the sporting events all right there's also outdoor circus and storytelling all right as well all right so concerts we can have parades we can have storytelling and these are all the fun and exciting things that you can do at this specific event all right moving on i'll play you a little video to give a little bit of a meaning behind this festival so you guys can see what are some of the events that takes place so sit back and just enjoy the video meridian energy summer city Imagine celebrating the arrival of summer on New Year's Eve, and there's lots of sunshine and high temperatures. That's what happens in Wellington, New Zealand, where summertime lasts from December until February. It's also when one of the most outstanding events of the year begins. Meridian Energy Summer City is a fun three-month festival that offers free concerts and events for all ages and tastes. Top local musicians and dancers give exciting performances. There is plenty of thrilling sporting action with mountain biking, skateboarding and powerboat racing. For younger visitors, there are outdoor circus shows and storytelling hours in the beautiful botanic gardens. You can also see films, theatre performances and parades. 
Many of Wellington's traditional restaurants provide delicious food and local shops sell arts and crafts produced by local people. Meridian Energy Summer City is a great cultural experience. All right, and question time. All right, now check true or false. You guys have watched the video. So let's go through the questions together. I would really encourage you to think beforehand before you answer the questions so that we can go through it together. You can pause the video and check your understanding for this and then we can go through it together. Right, so number one, in New Zealand, the temperatures on New Year's Eve are high. All right, so I'm just going to put in true all right and the correct answer for this all right is true indeed all right the meridian energy summer city festival lasts for three weeks now as you guys noticed that three weeks are not the correct one and it actually lasts for three months okay so this is false the meridian energy summer city is a free festival Right. If you guys pay close attention, you will notice that it's true and that it is indeed a free festival. Right. For younger visitors, there are skateboarding and circus shows and that is false as well because there's lots of other activities to do like thrilling, um, thrilling uh, sporting events. If you guys have noticed, if I can go back, um, some of the sporting events that took place. Right, you can hear stories in the Botanic Gardens, and that's true as well. And fast food is a popular at the festival. All right, so that's false. So now I'm going to take you guys back for number six and for number four. All right, so if I go back, all right, we can see some of the thrilling events for younger visitors. There's outdoor circus and storytelling in the Botanic Gardens. So not as much skateboarding and biking as well. So that answers the first question why it was false. Alright, and then later on, traditional restaurants provide delicious foods. Alright, and if you go back to the text, it says, if we go back and we pause this video, Alright, fast food is a popular at the festival, which is not true, and it was actually the local restaurant that provides all the food. Alright, and then that's the end of our um, access book. I want you guys to think of a summer festival in your country. When is it held? Where? How do people celebrate it? And write a short article for an international school magazine. Now this is an activity I would love you to do, you can do it with your friends, you can do it with um, your, your schoolmates as well. I will play the audio clip. The Cascais Summer Festival takes place in Cascais and Estoril in Portugal in July and August every year. It involves a nightly program of entertainment, including a great mix of live music, theater, jugglers, market stalls with lots of local arts and crafts, and spectacular fireworks displays. Many events are free and there are lots of things for children too. Alright, just a little bit of an idea so you guys can do this little activity and when you are done we can move on to the workbook. So open up your workbooks on Unit 10B. Alright, starting off again, we look at our workbook in Unit 10D, going to vocabulary. Some of the words that we need to fill in, we have temperatures, tastes, events, top, experience, crafts, and delicious. Alright, now as you can see, this is a beautiful picture and it almost looks like the Nang or Miami with the, parch, with the palm trees. And let's go on to the sentences and then we can fill in the words as we go on. Right, so we can see that this is actually Dubai and it looks very beautiful and sunny as well as hot. Right, so Dubai has become one of the world's mm, vacation destinations. Alright, so the word that we can fill in there. First of all, let me just say that you guys can pause the video to do these activities on your own and then we can go through it together. Um, just as a little bit of an exercise for you um, but then again let's go on Dubai has become one of the world's top vacation 
destination so that's the word that we're going to fill in over there there are many outdoor what uh, held in London during the summer so what's the word that we're going to fill in here and the only word that we can see is events right adventure vacations don't appeal to everyone's tastes some like to take it easy on the beach all right so the correct word to fill in here is taste and then again countries along the equator are known for the extremely high now equator when we think about the equator we think about extremely high temperatures all right i visited several arts and mm, stores remember when i talked about the plastic bottle all right so the correct word here is craft and i sampled some of the delicious local food during my visit to Tuscany. All right and lastly for number seven last year i took a boat trip down the amazon river it was the most memorable what i've ever had and if you guys used all of the words you will see that there's only one word which we have not used and that is experience right moving on to number two complete the sentences with the word derived from the words in bold by adding the appropriate prefix all right so the prefix these are the words in parentheses we have honest operate place live and lingual all right so we need to add prefixes some of these we will be needing to add suffixes as well okay so first word honest it was very honest of him to lie all right so already when we talk about lie and honest we can see that it does not go hand in hand all right so it's a very dishonest thing to do so the correct word is dishonest everyone needs to mm with each other and the correct word to use here is cooperate and that means to work together all right oh no i've mm, placed the car keys i can't find them and the correct prefix to use here is misplace my grandfather grandmother has lived all her for brothers and sisters meaning that she's lived a quite a long time so she has outlived all right all of her brothers and sisters right next word i'm mm, lingual my mother is french and my father is hungarian so when we can talk two languages remember two means bi so we can say that i am bilingual my mother is french and my father is hungarian all right moving on to number three choose the correct word choose the correct word which makes grammatical sense okay so the plane flew can we say tall or high and the correct word for this one is the plane flew high above the clouds but we can say that the trees have grown tall huge difference between the two all right an object can be tall but then the object can fly at a distance that's very high so in this case the object is the three and the trees are very tall right i'm afraid the food won't last please continue with your work so the correct words to fill in is last and continue right the hotel has an indoor or outside pool we say outdoor or indoor pool all right but justin went outside and we don't use the word outside when we talk about or we refer to the pool being outside we say outdoor all right you need to have a lot of experience or knowledge and in this case we have knowledge and skill to be a surgeon so you guys know that studying for a doctor takes a lot of skill so you need to be knowledgeable and have skill and then when you have the knowledge and the skill for a long period of time you can say i had my first experience with snow when i was five right we ate at a local restaurant and then we can also say that he is 
a native of Scotland. Native meaning he was one of the first born and or one of the people that was first born in the country. So that's what native mean. So the natives were one of the people that were born in a specific place and we also say that those native people are the local people as well. Right, so it was an outstanding achievement or superior and in this case we say outstanding, right? And then the officer is of superior rank. Now when we talk about superior, we talk about higher in the hierarchy. Okay, as you go up and up and up and up, we're talking about a superior rank. Right, you have a free or unpaid pen with this notebook. All right, you cannot use unpaid, but we can say you get a free pen with this notebook. And then I need to take unpaid vacation this year, and meaning that you will not get paid if you go on vacation. Right, and lastly, going on to grammar, rewrite the sentences starting as suggested. So use relative pronouns and adverbs. All right, pronouns used to describe someone and adverbs we use to describe verbs. Right, going on to number one. Her angry face really frightened me. All right, and we can say for number one. For number one, that really frightened me was her angry face. Okay, the car has been stolen, and we can say those are the people whose car has been stolen. Right, Mr. Arnold's house collapsed in the earthquake, and we can say the person whose house collapsed in the earthquake was Mr. Arnold. Right, the song won the first prize in the competition, and we can say this is the song that won first prize in the competition. They brought a house near the sea and we can say the house they have bought was near the sea or the house which they bought was near the sea right his wife had a car accident a year ago and we can say this is the man whose wife had a car accident a year ago and then lastly we went for a picnic in the park last sunday and then we can say this is the park where we went for a picnic last Sunday and that concludes it for the workbook and I will put on the answers so you guys can correct yourself and make all the corrections in your book and this is the answers and you guys can pause it and that brings us to the end of workbook 10d as we move on to workbook 10e. Alright, goodbye.